if you have a Palestinian activist who tells you that Israel is the occupying nation in this land that has been stolen from the Palestinian people, I want you to ask them a very simple question. Can you tell me which year in human history did the current Palestinian Arab identity have complete sovereignty over this landmass? Ask them to give you one year. One year. That's all I'm asking for. Tell me which year. Did you have complete sovereignty, autonomy and control over this land which you claim is yours? What will happen in that moment is silence. They can't answer the question. And there is a simple explanation why they can't answer that simple question. Because there was no day. There was no year. There was no period of time prior to 1948 that the Arab Palestinian population had control, authority and ownership over what we know as Israel today. Do you know why that's so important to understand? Because this entire war has been built on one simple deceptive lie. The ancestral people of this land are the Jewish people. You can't fight the truth of what history says. You throw a rock anywhere in this land and you start digging and you find Jewish heritage. You find archaeology that points to the truth that this land was and always will be that of the Jewish identity. This is one of the most heartbreaking realities that we're witnessing right now. This overflow of violence and hate, jealousy and envy from the Arab Palestinian population is all based on one simple lie that the land belongs to them. Now I'm not denying the fact that Arab Palestinians have lived in the land. I'm making a very, very clear statement here that every single person who watches this video needs to understand. Arab Palestinians in their current identity never had ownership completely and solely over this land. This is one of the most important talking points that every single person who is now watching this conflict unfold needs to understand. The violence and hatred and jealousy and barbaric nature of what Hamas is doing is all based on one simple lie that this land at some point in human history belonged to them. That they were the rightful owners of it. And tragically, People allow the pro-Palestinian movement to use words like settlers and occupiers and colonizers in the conversation to slowly convince you of the essential lie they need to hold on to in order to continue their murderous, violent and barbaric tactics to bring about genocide to a Jewish population and presence in this land. I'm not against Palestinian people. I'm not against Palestinian Arab people living in Israel. I'm against the lies that bring about hatred and violence and the spilling of innocent blood. I know this is going to be upsetting to a lot of people, but I also hope that this video brings a lot of clarity into how deceptive the lies are of this pro-Palestinian narrative. That you just automatically assume that they must have owned it and it was stolen from them. How can the ancestral people of a land somehow be classified as occupiers? Without a doubt, when you go through the history and the archaeology, the Jewish people have a right and presence in this land longer than anybody else. It would be the equivalent of Native Americans in America being referred to as occupiers. It would be the equivalent of Aboriginal people in Australia being referred to as colonizers. It is so unbelievable, but yet this narrative continues to exist. So the first thing that we have to do moving forward is to stamp out this immediate and initial lie of the Arab Palestinian population as if at some point in human history they owned and had complete sovereignty over the land of Israel. They never did. They never ever did. And now 
They're killing people as if they were. This is the real tragedy. This is where the narrative has to change. Share this video. The Jews are ordered to live in, in, the, in the land of Israel and even a time will come when they will retire there. Assemble yourselves and come, O ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. Amen. To God, Yahuwah, be the glory. Through Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, my Lord. Amen. Amen. To God, Yahuwah, be the glory. Through Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, my Lord. Amen.